This is Mr. Smiley. Mr. Smiley runs a daycare, and I have some serious questions about who granted Mr. Smiley a daycare license. Okay, so like, quick proposal to the other kids of this daycare. Should we escape, like, immediately? Mr. Smiley, clearly not human. His face, deeply unsettling. I, for one, will be seeking the comfort of the vent. Whoa, do you think this art was left on the wall by a former daycare kid? Mr. Smiley's rules. Run. All right, that's a bit worrying. I don't know, I just feel like my parents maybe need to do a little bit more research before they send me to these daycare centers because I keep ending up at like the weirdest places. Like this is way too much toxic waste to have at a daycare center. Like I don't wanna tell Mr. Smiley how to do his job here, but I really feel like there should be more play areas, maybe some like nap areas, some outdoor play areas, much, much less toxic waste. And besides the toxic waste, I feel like we've got a few problems with Mr. Smiley himself. Just the fact that there was that drawing on the wall of Mr. Smiley, like somebody had to go through a lot of effort to leave that warning sign there for me and the other daycare kids. They wanted us to know that when Mr. Smiley comes around, you better run. Obviously, I was already getting pretty bad vibes from Mr. Smiley, so I had my suspicions. But the fact that somebody went through all of that trouble to leave a warning, I really think that we should heed the warning. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that I should heed the warning. Oh look, a friend and ally. Hi, are you also terrified of Mr. Smiley? I know, it's hard to place. It's something about the vacant look in his eye. Maybe the fact that he is literally always smiling. Like, what you smiling about, Mr. Smiley? I've got questions. Oh, whoa, what's happening in here? This might be our way to escape. Oh yeah, this looks like an escape. Oh, that's not an escape. That's a death trap. It's almost as if Mr. Smiley doesn't want us to leave. Oh my gosh, he thinks he can trap us in here forever. Well, I'm gonna show him who's boss when I do escape. Oh my gosh, more toxic waste? You have got to be kidding me. <gasps> Lots of daycare kids in here though. I'm glad that we've all got the same idea. Everyone's like, like, literally, let's get out of here. Here's what I'm thinking though. I think that me and all of the other daycare kids need to band together when we talk to our parents. Because if one of us goes and tries to tell our parents like, yeah, Mr. Smiley, he's so scary. The whole daycare, it's full of toxic waste. I feel like they're just gonna think that we're telling porkies. And as you can see, these are no porkies. This is 100% facts. Like this toxic waste is everywhere. You actually can't go anywhere in this daycare without being at risk of falling into a giant Olympic sized pool of toxic waste at any time. It's irresponsible, frankly. What about the little kids? Like I am very agile. I'm doing lots of jumping. See all of my friends here, they're also very agile. They're doing excellent jumping. But what about the babies? I need to talk to the manager and don't you dare say it's Mr. Smiley. Oh no, more significant art. You have to help me decipher it. Babies, bad. What could it mean? What's up with the down arrows? Is Mr. Smiley dropping the babies? Speak of the devil. Okay, look, listen, I've got some questions about how you run your daycare. Oh my gosh, I hate his face. There's no soul behind those eyes. Okay, no further questions. I'm getting out of here. Uh-oh, babies. But Mr. Smiley hates babies. I must save the babies. The art, it's literal. All right, I think I've cracked it. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. I just don't understand why Mr. Smiley would start a daycare service when he obviously hates babies. Look, he's about to chase me again. Oh, yep, here he comes. Absolutely full of rage just because I want to save the babies. Come with me, babies. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, no. Shocking to me that anyone could think these babies are bad. They're so weird and cute. I love them. Why do you hate them? I'm gonna put some obstacles in his way. If I can push this in the way. Yeah, push that over the side. Yeah, there we go, that'll slow him down. Okay, I wanna save at least one baby. Okay, I got one. Let's go. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, he's still chasing me. Oh no, I lost my baby. My baby. Oh, oh, where am I now? And how did I fall through the roof? That was weird, but look, we've got a ball pit. That's much more daycare-like. And then, oh, pipes. Okay, that's less daycare-like. This is kind of giving construction site more than daycare. Actually, so disappointed in myself that I didn't manage to save a single baby. I'm gonna have to find a way to get back up there, or at the very least, I'm gonna have to tell somebody about what is going on in Mr. Smiley's daycare. I'm breaking down your wall of silence, Mr. Smiley. I am speaking truth to power. But first I need to find my way across this giant pool of bubbling red, what is that down there? 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's probably bubbling raspberry jam. Yeah, Mr. Smiley, in addition to being a really, really poor proprietor of a daycare in which he hates all of the babies, um, he also is a jam enthusiast. Like, you would never know just by looking at him, but he absolutely slays down at the county fair. In fact, I would go so far as to say maybe he should just give up the whole daycare business entirely and just focus on his jams. Clearly, his one true passion in life. I mean that, and also filling his daycare with truly insane obstacle courses for children like this is a death trap. Look at this thing. Why are there so many spikes? A truly monumental amount of effort went into this. <sighs> just for that to happen, just to make my life difficult. No thank you, I'm not skipping to the next checkpoint. I have a point to prove. It's Holly versus Mr. Smiley, the final showdown. If you want to be on my team and support me, you can really stick it to Mr. Smiley by making sure you're subscribed to my channel. He hates that. He hates it when anyone's more popular than him. I just cannot get over how unhinged this room is. Like, Mr. Smiley was really doing the most when he designed this place. He was like, swinging spike balls? I need more of them. A floor? Oh, no floor, thanks. Just more rotating spiky spikes? Oh wow, I only just noticed that there's like a little progress bar at the top here and it looks like I am almost halfway through. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Don't take your eyes off the prize for a second. <laughs> but yeah, we got a little progress bar and I'm clearly in the lead, although I do notice that a very cute looking cat appears to be catching up with me pretty quickly, so that's kind of exciting. If I do end up slowing down, it might mean that I just end up with a cat buddy. Don't hate that one bit. I think I've almost made it out of the room of insanity. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crushed. I see my destination. I see freedom. Freedom does look like it's surrounded by lasers though, but that's a that's a problem for when I get there. First things first. Try to get around this whole spiky ball debacle and then then we can get to the lasers. Okay, checkpoint we love. And then, oh, actually this isn't so bad. I can hop over these. No problem at all. <gasps> Uh-oh. I see Mr. Smiley over there though. I guess it's time for a confrontation. More ominous art. Okay. I think I'm trying to get Mr. Smiley off the platform. If I can get him to fall off the platform and into the raspberry jam, then I can save these babies. Do I have a plan? Okay, nope, don't have a plan. He's already chasing me and there's so many babies. What am I supposed to do? Okay, two babies and I'm already, already gone. Good. No, I'm not skipping. I've got to save the babies. How am I supposed to get him to fall over the edge though? Maybe if I can like lead him over to the edge and then like rush out of the way. I wonder if that would work. Or do I, am I just supposed to run around him? Oh my gosh, he's very fast. He is so fast. Okay, come on babies, come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, I saved a baby. A baby attached themselves to my backpack like a marsupial. I'm like, a mar oh no, my baby. Oh no, I dropped a baby into the jam. This is a disaster. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh wait, is that my cat friend? <gasps> no way. It's Kate the cat. No way, they are so cute. Let's go, Kate. Together we can defeat Mr. Smiley. To the red button. That seems to be the way forward. Is it gonna be an elevator heading up to the, oh no, we're going down to, what on earth is this? Kind of feels like we're descending into Mr. Smiley's subconscious. It looks terrifying. I genuinely feel like Mr. Smiley is in the wrong job. He really should not be in the daycare business. Maybe he should be in the movie business. This looks like incredible for like a like a set for a psychological thriller, perhaps? I think I got to invite Mr. Smiley to reconsider some options. Like sure, I'm just one of your daycare kids, but I've also got some opinions on career counseling, apparently. Oof, and into the tar or possibly blackcurrant jam. I'm looking at this room like, what is my goal here? Am I trying to get over there to Mr. Smiley's like creepy, massive black and white mouth? Like, I don't think that anything good happens in there. <laughs> I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to relax until I like escape this underground lair situation. I need to see the sun. I need to touch grass and I need to check in on the other daycare kids. And then we really need to check in on those babies. Like, I don't mean to be a bummer here, but I did accidentally drop a baby off of a ledge. Not my finest moment. Feel like I'm trying to get over onto that conveyor belt, but I am noticing <laughs> quite a lot of wrecking balls swinging from the ceiling. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, there we go, got it. Um, yeah, there's too many wrecking balls for me to be able to relax, but I've come this far and we've got no choice. So on we press, I guess. Skip to, oh no, I don't want to skip. No, sorry, cancel that. I only skip to the next checkpoint if there's like absolutely no way for me to, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh no, oh my gosh, it hit me midair. <laughs> 
These wrecking balls are no joke. It's really hard to see where they're coming from. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm just flying blind here. Just trying my best. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh, good. Oh, yay. Now we're entering Mr. Smiley's mouth. This is exactly what I wanted. Please leave to the surface. Please leave to the surface. I'm falling down a hole. That is 100% the opposite of the surface. Oh my gosh, where am I now? No! Why would you take me here, Mr. Smiley? Oh my gosh, he's right there. What did I ever do to you? I'm just a child. Just gonna stand there, huh? Just gonna stand there. Oh wow, I just realized I'm at the end of the progress bar. This might be my last standoff with Mr. Smiley. I need to try my best to escape quickly because I think he is yeah he's already right behind me and he's freakishly fast okay oh my gosh he's way too fast he's way too fast how am I supposed to no oh my gosh and again what is his game plan here like do you want kids to return to your daycare what did I ever do to you Mr. Smiley's motivations remain unclear it's possible that he just loves to chase children. This whole daycare operation might just be a setup to allow him to chase children with his freaky green nails. But here we go. Looks like I've escaped him once again. He's too tall to get through the bars. So he's just standing there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Is this gonna take me to freedom? I certainly hope so. I really wanna see my parents. Oh, <gasps> that looks like the outside. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh, my gosh, fireworks. Okay, unexpected, but I made it. Where are my parents? Where's an adult? I really need to talk to an adult. 